Malawi. It's um, the Independence Day of our colonizer today. And we're heading to the airport. We're here for House Bill 499. We're here to protect Hawaiian lands. And today we're also gonna be honoring our Kumu, Dr. Hanani K. Trask, who coined the words, we are not American, we are not American, we are not American. And I think it's the most appropriate words for today our colonizers day of independence which is not our independence day it is our colonizers independence day hello okay, halahui it's almost seven we're heading to starbucks right now um but I want to show you this shirt, Hawaii. Hawaiians come first in Hawaii. <laughs> Mahalo to my Lani for this shirt. Um, she made some shirts and in the back it says, we are not American. Um, so we just headed to Starbucks for the seven o'clock press conference this morning. Um, but uh, we'll be here till two. Um, so come down. Um, and you're gonna see us at Ke'ehi Lagoon at Tennis Court. Stop there first so you can get information. And um, if you wanna hand out stuff to tourists, we have information for the tourists on why we are here at the airport, how the airport sits on stolen lands, why we are not American. Um, and the fact that we need justice for Hawaiians. So just, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the airport. Hey, this is the first time live. I'm on top of the uh, parking uh, for across from Terminal 2 at h and L. I'm not even going to say the name. And I'm expecting uh, today's, I don't know what to call it, I think a motorcade, I would call it. Or a protest against uh, a lot of things, particularly uh, pro um, precipitated by uh, the passage uh, of um, House Bill 499, HB 499, which extends the leases on... Uh, Seeded land. And these lands, these seeded lands are of course stolen lands. They're, it's uh, it's uncontestable. They're stolen lands. These lands were taken uh, without consent or compensation. You know, if I took your car without your consent or compensation, that's, that's stealing it. So... Uh, instead of making progress toward returning the land to uh, the Kanaka Maoli, the legislature did the exact opposite, which was to um, extend leases, commercial leases, resorts, whatever. Well, let me first start off by thanking everyone. We're doing this because we had a calling. This is a very sacred place that we stand on. 
We stand, all of these islands, all of this land is sacred. There is no unsacred part of it. And there's not one piece that we are fighting for. We are fighting for it all. We are fighting for all the people of Hawaii. I want to be very clear today that the speakers and the community members that are going to come up to speak do not necessarily all believe the same thing. They do not all get together and, and agree upon what the next move is. But here is where we are common. We are common in the sense that we all call this place home, that we know that now is the time for us to be heard. Every single group, our entire community, for the last year and a half has basically been put on mute by the government and the officials. And we can all see the direction that we are going in is not the direction of a sustainable future. The last part is every person that is participating today is responding to the call of the Aina, of the farmers. I need to be absolutely clear how important and powerful eating from Hawaii is. We come for the sunshine, we come for the rain. If we cannot eat from this aina, then we will truly be disconnected. I'm gonna invite up our first speaker, Pealani Pale. She is a powerful manavahine, and she is gonna specifically talk about the injustices of conflict legislation and conflict politics that we live in. Pealani, please come. Aloha everyone, I'm Helani Sonora Pale. And first of all, before we start, today is July 4th, and that's the colonizers' Independence Day. We are Kanaka Maoli. We are independent. We are an independent nation. And in the words of our Kumu, I would like to start off by saying, we are not American. We are not American. We are not American. The reason why we are here today is because the governor, the legislature, left us no choice by their actions this legislative session. They passed a bill that would give developers forever leases of Hawaiian lands that were stolen by the U.S. and is now supposed to be held in trust by the state of Hawaii. We're talking about two million acres of lands, Hawaiian lands, stolen Hawaiian lands. America, the US, the state of Hawaii doesn't care about Kanaka Maui. This is not our holiday. July 4th is not the holiday for Kanaka Maui. We are not American. We are here because we are forced to, our voices were ignored and we are here to make a stand and to make a statement about what it means to be in Hawaiian in Hawaii. 128 years, 128 years, we've been waiting and working and striving for justice for Hawaiians, and we haven't gotten it yet. This is it, you know. When, when we have to come to the airport and put ourselves on the line, that means we're desperate. This is it. This is the big land theft. I wanna mahalo everybody for coming and um, I wanna make sure you know our message is clear. We're here because we are standing for Hawaiian lands. And I wanna show the back of my shirt. And I wanna just say mahalo to my kumu, Hona Nikkei Trust. We, we stand here because of her, because of her. Aloha, everyone. Thank you so much, Helani. Let me tell you guys a little bit about why I'm here. Come on, Ohana. Let's go. Let me be absolutely clear. My mother is born in Fiji. My father was born on a US military base in Japan. I was born right there at the hospital in downtown Honolulu. I am not by blood connected to the indigenous people of Hawaii prior to 1778. Yet I stand as the leader of my family. I have six children of Kanaka Maoli descent, six beneficiaries 
that I must show how to live with this land, how to grow food. I am here as the leader of my family, first and foremostly. I am here as a simple farmer. This man right here, this is my anchor. This is what drives me every single day. My partner, Kawe Nahoy, is the only full-time taro farmer that lives on DHL, DHHL land on Oahu. And unless we do something about it, he will be the last full-time native Hawaiian farmer to live on homestead land. Now many talk about the challenges of being a Hawaiian taro farmer and the rally cry and the pain that we feel. I want you to hear it from a Hawaiian in pain, struggling to feed his community, to uplift them. This is my brother. This is someone that I will stand beside, watch his back, care for his children as my own. Live, breathe, and die together. Kaweahu Nahoi. Hello, my kako. You know, we stand here. Daniel had a revelation the other day when he came. You see this wall behind us? This rock wall that stretched this whole parking lot. The whole Ilona was that when they built the airport, that's where they put our ancestors. Problem is that they don't even see us. People don't even see us out there in the world. They just passed on lifetime lease for people who have different interests than me. I live on Hawaiian homestead land, one mile away from the biggest dump they get on this island where all of the, every single industry's waste is literally at my doorstep, along with 90% of the Hawaiian community on this island. We daily getting inundated with toxic chemicals and the truth is the truth. Nobody gotta do research anymore for just know the truth and eat that sour poi. Yeah. But the difference is that we're not mad. Like he get on top of his face is Instagram. We just fermented. You know, I never gonna stop. And the reason why I do this is because I did, between the two of us, we've been everything. Car salesman, phone salesman, carpenter, roofer, solar installer, hole digger. It's one thing I'm super good at is being homes. You know why we was born to do that? Five years ago, I lost my dad. Two years right after that, I lost my son. And I actually went through the story. Coloring your baby, just like how long? From that day on, I committed forever to farming how long? Taking care of Aina, farming food for whoever, the community. Yet, I farm eight acres that I do not own. Thanks to our loving partners, many of them is not Hawaiians at all. They allow me and Daniel to go and share and do our passion on their aina. And that's huge. Without the partnerships that we currently have, I don't know what I'll do. All I know is the drive to farm and to Malamahaloa is the bug is in our dana. DNA, thing is our, in, in our dana. From my family, Daniel's family, from both of our Mookua house, from both sides. You're only one generation or two generations away from a farmer. If you think about it, there was never engineer on your birth certificate of the parent. It was always farmer, fisherman, farmer or fisherman. And the mom was housewife. 
so much things to being housewife that bless up to any housewife, bless up to any moms out there blessing up your kids and raising them, especially our own kids. The identity, yeah, when I was growing up, but shut your mouth and conform and be on good Hawaiian, the token Hawaiian. I never even realized that until I became a parent. But we can go on and on and on. We thank you guys for being out here, for supporting what we're trying to do. And all we're trying to do is create more opportunities for us be farmers. Anybody out there, please watch Climate for Change so you know what we're talking about. We in hurricane season right now. If the bugger hit, we're gonna be seeing each other, guaranteed. Thank you guys. There you guys go. From the voice of the indigenous people, the indigenous farmers. You know, it's, it's one of those things talking about what the solutions are. We can talk about the problems. It's not like we don't have the land. It's not like we don't have the water. What we don't have is leaders that one, value the community and our people. Because when you value something, you care for it. We need to change this. 2022, every district is up for grabs. From the governor, to the senators, to the representatives. There's a huge opportunity. I'm calling forth the true leaders of this Aina to rise up, to channel the voice of your ancestors and to regain the leadership. This we must do. We all know that by taking care of the indigenous people of this place, we will take care of everybody else. Yeah, you know when you're on the plane, they say, put your mask on first before you put your mask on your baby, yeah. Put your life preserver on first before you do it of your child. We must save ourselves first. We must put Hawaiian issues front. Why? Because how are we gonna take care of any of the other problems when the root cause of this is 128 years of occupation? Now as a farmer, as a father, there are things that are within my power. I know that we can lead an agricultural revolution. I know, I see it. I went from a full-time working, flying every single day to a full-time farmer, community organizer. I haven't held a job since she was born. We haven't cooked a pot of rice in our home since my children were born. If we can do it with no money, with no land, can you imagine what we could do with the support of the community? We need thousands of acres available for subsistence, chemical-free agriculture. We need the opportunity to manage our lands and our water in a way that every day that we interact with them, they grow more bountiful. That is what Aina Momona is about. It's about the infinite ability to continue to make your land abundant. I will say this clearly to our leaders. The price for our land and our water shall never be money, but shall be kuleana. And kuleana, is something that you have to actually do. You cannot talk about it. And so we here, as the guys that are doing it, during the COVID pandemic, two simple farmers put out 30,000 huli. That huli right now is being harvested to 300,000 huli. The next rotation will be three million huli. We are prepared to plant. We have been preparing the community to engage agriculture on a vast, large-scale community level. We are ready to lead this with or without the government. I 
have so much more to say. But I'll tell you guys what. If you guys like what you heard here, this is our practice. Yeah, because we knew and we know that you only get better the more that you do it. And the speakers that you heard are the most consistent leaders in our community and what they talk about. I love you guys. Everyone that's watching, everyone that's participating. I wanna go over a couple of important key, not rules, but suggestions. First of all, if you're planning on driving around the airport, I did speak with the sheriff's department and the police department. They're gonna let us run flags, no problem. Of course, if your registration and your safety check ain't in order, you become a statistic. So, if you don't have those, park in this parking lot and hit the crosswalks. Because with or without a car, we can all slow the flow. Yeah, I heard in a press conference last week, our ancestors just came in, guys. They're blessing us right now. I heard in a press conference, Governor Ige said he couldn't do anything about the influx. Governor, I got your back, bro. We got you. We the community. We can handle the challenges that you can't. Mahalo, you guys. We'll see you at 12. Aloha, Mike. Lahui, we're on our way. First round. We're gonna do our first round, then we're gonna head back to Kehi to regroup and then go one, one more time around. So we're just gonna keep going right after that. But we need to regroup at Kehi first, right after this one. Just waiting for everybody to come. Okay, they're redirecting us. Where now? Turn this way. Where? Okay, they said they already started directing. So they want us to go this way and then we gotta just turn around I don't know we gotta go this way now the sheriffs are following us so how do I get to departures go back off to limits and then head up Rogers Boulevard by the taxi stand. You can okay, go so head out to Nimitz. Nimitz, take a left onto Cam, Rogers Boulevard, the next intersection over. Okay. And then it'll go up into the terminal. Okay. We're going to just go our first round for Hawaiian Lands, Hawaiian Aina. So they're really di redirecting. So you got to go either straight up from the... to the terminal. So we're going to departures. That's where we want to go. We want to go to the departures. Fourth of July, everybody. Fourth of July. Not our holiday. Not our Independence Day. It's the colonizers' Independence Day. 
going up here. I like how they got that big American flag over the airport. are on yellow and that's kind of like something expected so they, they don't have the light stopping they have the lights on yellow it's not green or red speed limit is 50 miles an hour Just slow your roll when you come through. all over to get the sheriff paddy wagon over there. <laughs> oh, so wonderful living in a police state. <laughs> Big state. <laughs> Big state. Police state. And here's the sheriff coming. Here's the paddy wagon. Going on the off ramp. Head back to Kehi right now. Just regroup. And I'm gonna lay some stuff out. We got choke. 
the sheriff, so we uh, drove. So we're here at Kate Hila Goon. We're um, going to head out in a couple minutes. Um, just waiting for people, some people to get situated. And then we're going to um, do another round, a couple rounds. We also have luau stew poi today. Be serving that from the Aina. So brother's warming up the stew. You guys made the stew, Kaui. Right on. From the Aina. Like somebody was gonna get food, like let me get food. We get chokes. Everybody just gotta be cool with eating luau. <laughs> okay, we're just waiting um, for everybody to kind of get <laughs> vegan luau and beef luau. Right on. I like this one, land for Kalo. Um, and Kai. And about 10 o'clock, we're gonna have Brother Steven come to play some music for us. This is my kai. So we had we giving we have some people they're gonna walk around with. Um, Why are we demonstrating? Handouts. It's my kai. But well, we're gonna go through. I'll drive through. Okay, right on. And then we do have handouts. Um, I did send the handouts to the other islands to hand out to tourists, visitors to Hawaii. So they'll be handing that out as well. Um, basically saying we are not American. This is not our holiday. Our kingdom was illegally overthrown, Hawaiian Kingdom of Hawaii. And 1.8 million acres of lands, of our lands, were taken illegally, seized, stolen, handed over to the state of Hawaii. And now the state of Hawaii, through House Bill 499, wants to give it to developers forever and ever. Everybody has their high Hawaii. Again, reminding people this is not our holiday. This is not our holiday. I have one guy who's doing the line. And then we're gonna go to the Nimitz and then go off, go back on to Rogers and go into the airport. So all of this, this airport sits on ceded lands, which is AKA Stolen Hawaiian Kingdom Crown and Government lands. These lands were um, illegally seized in 1893 by the provisional government, handed over to the Republic, then supposedly handed over to the U United States of America. It's about 2 million acres of lands, beautiful lands. I mean, this is one of them. Most airports in Hawaii sits on stolen Hawaiian lands and no rent is paid uh, to the Native Hawaiian people, to the Kanaka Maui people. And so here they close the road. So we thought this would be a really good um, spot to make a stand and say something about they were directing traffic and everything because it was I mean they could spend they spend money on stuff like this but they won't spend money on the betterment of Hawaiians you know but they'll spend money on policing us so in when we became supposed well so in 1959 there was supposedly a referendum or a statehood vote and the vote was rigged because there was only two choices on that referendum and the two choices was do you want to stay a territory of the United States or do you want to um, become a state 
or enter into you know family of states whatever so when you do a referendum you're supposed to have the option of independence on the ballot that was not put on that ballot so it was a rigged vote i mean if you had either status quo or statehood there was no in between there was no choice for independence and therefore this we became a state without the consent of the Hawaiian people. And we, we're not even really annexed. There was no treaty of annexation. Hawaii was included in the U.S. through a treaty, um, through a joint resolution of the House and Senate, which is by the United States standards and laws, illegal. They're not supposed to do that. So we're not annexed. Our statehood vote was rigged. Our lands are held in trust by the state of Hawaii and they can't sell it because there's no clear title. Where are the title holders? The Kanaka Maoli, the native people of the land. So what they did this year was they created a bill to give leases to these developers that would be forever, forever leases of Hawaiian lands, stolen Hawaiian lands. Um, so the system does not work for us. Six months we've been working on this measure we gave testimony hundreds thousands emailed called for six months legislators the governor we, we sat outside his house for a month um and they still let it become law so this house bill 499 is one of the most evil pieces of legislation yet that the state of hawaii and um our leaders here have come up with in order to disenfranchise Hawaiians of our lands. It's a huge heva or a huge wrong and injustice done to our people. So that's why we're here today. It's because we, at this point, there, what is the alternative? You know, I believe there are some people that are planning to sue um, on this issue because those lands rightfully belong to us and they shouldn't be giving out these lands to developers. There's a there's a uh, wave coming by, but I got a office a s Allied Universal Security Services guy saying I cannot uh, live stream. What we're cruising.
wagon waiting um, but they are um, being pretty patient but I don't know how long more they're gonna be patient <laughs> um, so right now it's about 9 15 we're gonna go around again then head back to Keihi regroup with Kiai convoy and then do another round again a couple more rounds okay so again we're gonna be doing this all day till two o'clock so come join come join come join make sure your tank is full because it's um there's a lot of traffic at the airport <laughs> okay aloha everyone Thank <laughs> you. 
National Guard. Yeah. So they got canines, a paddy wagon, tow trucks, sheriffs. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. That's fucking crazy, man. <laughs> For Oren, who uh, videos all this stuff, I'm li I'm live streaming. There you are. Anybody can join this, so go to the staging point, KA Lagoon by the tennis court, and then... Uh
passing out um, leaflets, and uh, you can you can read that. Aloha! <laughs> All right. Take a flight. Thank you. All right. Hey, Vince. <laughs> Get the flag too. Okay. That's a farmless Vince Dodge. And his crew. Oh, in fact, still got more guys coming down. <laughs> See, so just come down guys and then everybody we can go around and around. We Aloha I know we are not Americans that's uh saying uh of uh Haunani K Trask.
is not our Independence Day. This is our colonizers' Independence Day. Mahalo, everybody, for coming. Um, if you need to use the restroom, some just some stuff. We have we do have a porta potty over here. We're gonna head out in a couple minutes again. We're gonna have to go on to Nimitz and turn take a left onto Rogers. And we're going on departures. What I would like everybody to do is if we can go um, take all the lanes as, as much as possible um, and make as much noise as you want with your horns. Um, and then we'll have people, we have people on at the airport giving out handouts about why we're here as Kanaka. We are here because the legislature and the governor failed us. They let a measure go through that would give developers forever leases of our stolen Hawaiian lands. Aole, aole. We sat outside the governor's house for four weeks. He still didn't listen. We went to the legislature for six months. They never listened. So this is what we gotta do now. So mahalo everybody for coming. And remember, this is not our holiday. And we stand and we do this in memory of our kumu, Honani K. Trask. We love her. She raised the consciousness of our people today. This is it. So mahalo everyone for coming. We're gonna head out pretty soon. Make as much noise as you like. Aloha. Motorcycles with us right now. It's um, it's getting bigger and bigger. A lot of the workers are very supportive and waving. We um, 
We've even been giving um, information out to the sheriffs, which is good. Just kind of share with them why we're doing this, why we're here. Um, this is a peaceful protest. It's very peaceful, but it is um, something that if you're at the airport, you can't miss. <laughs> anyway, we're going around again. Today we're standing for Hawaiian lands, House Bill 499. We need that bill repealed or we'll keep doing this. Um, today is supposed to be the busiest um, day, one of the busiest days of the year at the airport. So that's why we're here. About 30,000 people are supposed to be flying in and out of Hawaii. And um, I would guess we have about, right now, I don't know, maybe like 300 people with us. There's everybody's kind of like downstairs, upstairs. Um, we have people handing out stuff at the airport, um, and I'm really happy that we have been educating the law enforcement as well, which is my company. Um, and they also have bulletproof vests on. Um, so that's interesting that um, they would feel they need bulletproof vests. You know, we have always been peaceful from the time that they overthrew our kingdom to now, we have been peaceful. And, um, but we know what we are, we know who we are. We know we are not American. Uh, we know what we're standing for, and that's for our Aina, our Lahui, and our people. So, <clears throat> come join. So, um, sorry I can't live feed. I don't wanna um, hold the phone while I'm driving to the airport, because it's there's a lot of people going in and out, so. We have like a few groups going round and round, and we're one of the groups. Um, come down, we'll be here till two. We have Mia Ai, Luau Stu, Poi from the Aina. Um, we got Brother Steven playing music right now, hopefully. And uh, we will be here for a while. But I just want to mahalo all our Lahui for standing wherever you are, whether you're at the palace, whether you're on Maui, in Hilo, on Kona. Um, thank you, mahalo everybody for standing with us and for making this the day um, that we reclaim. This is not America's independence. We, this is not our holiday. We can't celebrate America's independence today. Fourth of July, no, aole. Um, so come join. Uh, we got choke people today, choke. And I'm just really happy and proud of our Lahui for coming out today um, hundreds of people came out today and I want to mahalo everybody um, going up the ramp I'm gonna have to turn this off because they got the canine dogs <laughs> like right after this ramp so um, and they got the all the sheriff cars so I'm gonna turn this off but um, I, I'm sure a lot of people are live feeding and videoing us videoing us seems like we have the support of the of the staff here and um, they've been kind of cheering us on too. This is my Kai. Come down everybody. Uh, let's celebrate our our Lahui. Let's celebrate our people. Let's celebrate our Aina. Aloha everyone. Yeah. Airport to say repeal HB 499. Woohoo! 
on um also to say that we are not American. We're just about to start our convoy. We do have some folks in the front who are stationed holding signs. Come on down if you want to join us. Um there's a station in the front for sign waving and we're gonna be taking our convoy throughout the um, airport today. We have woohoo, look at that. We got our Kipioka Aina here, uh, we have Kukuna with us today, and we are here to um stand for what is Kono, like our Kumu Kono Nikkei Trust taught us, to resist, resist oppression, resist imperialism, resist settler colonialism, and let our voices be heard. So Mahalo Nui, come on down, we'll be here until 12-ish, maybe a little later. We are not American. Kue.
Ja lähti alamu paskoon. Ja lähti alamu paskoon. Hello. Hey. Okay, what is the reason? What's the problem? He's stopping traffic completely over here, huh? No, I was letting the guy go. What guy? The car that went in front of me. Waiting. I wasn't stopped, I was moving. You gonna, you gonna move on? Yeah, I'm gonna move Wait on. Answer. I wasn't stopped. Okay, you going up or down? I'm going up. Up. My foot is not even on the brake, yeah? Okay? I know, um, I wasn't down below, but I know that they were making all kinds of uh, traffic uh, diversions to make this uh, convoying difficult. But it looks like it did disrupt traffic.
I want to end my manao. You know, yesterday was the passing of our great leader, our great speaker, and I want to say my aloha out to her ohana, the Trask ohana. But in her words, on this day, July 4th, we are not American.